Okay, what we have here is a MacBook Pro that was sent in for a video issue. As we turn it on, we hear fans get a chime, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the system's working. With these units, what you have is a problem with the uh, video cable, which would be located right around here. Uh, since this is an LED screen, it does not have a backlight inverter, but on the actual board, it has a backlight fuse. So, what we'll have to do is check that after we get the system started up um, and make sure that it actually boots into the OS. Now, an easy way to check this would be to hook it up to an external monitor, but you have to have the special Apple to uh, VGA connector cable. So what we're waiting for right now is the actual Apple boot sound, which we should hear here in a second. That sound right there would signify an actual Apple boot. So what we're going to do is turn this system off. And then we're going to take it apart and check the motherboard to see if the connector cables, the backlight fuse, and the VGA cable actually check out properly. Uh, this does not seem to be a chipset issue. This seems to be a general hardware failure. So what we have here is the motherboard pulled out and if we notice anything about this motherboard that we have three uh, chipsets and they are actually, which you can't really tell uh, that great, but they have the bonding on them. That's a silicon based bonding, but this will be your processor and uh, Reminiscent of the uh, GPUs inside of an Xbox, this is actual uh, double-sided uh, processor right there for a GPU, and then your coprocessor. So, what we have with this system is um, pretty much an issue where the video doesn't work. And if we can, I'll take a screwdriver and point this out. But uh, what we have are these white portions here. Um, these are actual uh, ceramic fuses. So, um, can't get a better picture on that, but um, those are fuses. And then right here is what we call a inline fuse. So this, uh, it's actually a P-Link inline fuse. So what happens is when you test one of these fuses that's actually good, we have our uh, meter here. And what we'll do is we'll take our meter and make sure that everything's good with it. So that's telling us that we actually have a, you know, viable test. So when we hook our meter up to our fuses kind of hard to do with uh, one hand let's put this down for a second we'll lay this down like so so we can get a reading on it we'll take this and hook it up that's how we test and see that our fuses are good so we have all three of these fuses here they were tested out and they test out that they're fine except for the P-Link stays in overload so by that fuse staying like that what we notice is that this is the bad fuse that goes to the backlight and by that fuse going to the backlight what it does is it keeps actual system 
from engaging uh, the LCD or LED or the lights for the keyboard so what we'll do is we'll change this fuse out and by changing this fuse out it should cause the system to turn back on and work so let's go try that out so here's a uh, common thing we hear from people all the time asking us how uh, you know you can test things say you don't have a high dollar fleet meter or even a cheap radio shack one um, you know this is pretty basic pretty cheap um, how can you I don't know how to use a multimeter digital one or analog one uh, they serve their purpose um, but how can we test and see how uh, certain things are wrong so we got this little thing that we use um, hooks up it's just basic continuity tester and uh, from time to time you know you just hook it up to a ground on the board and you know for checking fuses this is a pretty easy thing that we do um, we'll take this one-handed stick it to the actual part doesn't work but hook it up to another and there the light turns on so this would tell you uh, you know one of two things um, a tells you that the part is actually working B it tells you if you have power traveling across the board power has to travel from here you know has to go through all these channels then come through these two uh, transformers to here then come to here and come over this way and come up come down come all the way over here so if your board's not turning on pretty good way see if power's traveling across just do it simply like that hit the chip and the power turns on the light that's from all the way over here across like this coming down but moreover it tells us whether our fuses are bad in a very simple and easy way so we're checking to see if our fuses are uh, not working and both sides do not light the light up that means there's a break that means that fuse is bad that's yet another way that we test and see how things are working and we do diagnostics on your machine when it comes in to be worked on so what we've done is change this fuse and now we're going to turn it on and see what happens uh, most likely we should get a tone out of the laptop which we do backlight initialized uh, we see the apple on the screen swirly means it's doing memory in a hard drive boot just checking all the hardware most likely we should get a uh, starting system out of this it was sent in for a no video problem uh, change that fuse and uh, after we change that fuse now uh, we're seeing that it's actually booting so it was just a backlight inverter fuse uh, something to keep in mind it's been going on since uh, yeah generation 4 on the uh, on the MacBooks so this is pretty common looks like everything's starting up everything's working uh, all the programs are initializing so we're going to call this a finished machine